Gerald Henderson wrote about his first professional encounter with Bryant in 2009 as a rookie with the Charlotte Bobcats. As Henderson tells it, he observed Bryant getting some pregame shots up, but the Black Mamba was uncharacteristically breaking more of them than he was making. All of a sudden, I looked up and Kobe had stopped shooting, Henderson wrote in the Players' Tribune. He was holding the ball on his hip with one hand, and motioning to the sideline with the other. According to Henderson, a maintenance crew with a ladder and measuring tape then stormed the court, and began to work on the net Bryant had been shooting on, with Kobe gesturing to them. It's too low, Bryant later said to Henderson. The rim's a quarter of an inch too low. After the game, the Bobcats rookie asked one of the maintenance workers about the pregame commotion, and was subsequently told the net had to be adjusted to the standard 10-foot height. Then he told me how much it was off by, Henderson wrote. I could tell you his answer, but I think you already know what he said. Gerald Henderson begins by referencing how Kobe had been his basketball idol growing up, since they both hailed from Philadelphia, but it's the little things in his entry that made it so great. Kobe's perfected the art of scoring, if that can be done. He has counters to your counters. He has a toolbox full of scoring moves. Every night, he has new tools in there, for new scenarios. Good defense rarely slows Kobe down. In a crazy way, good defense makes Kobe better. It just reveals new moves that he's been waiting to try out. Many have thrown shade on him, almost as if they've forgotten what the guy has meant to the game, forgotten what he's done for the NBA, forgotten what he's done for young kids like me growing up who looked up to him. I don't have to break down the reasons why Kobe is one of the greatest to ever play basketball. Commentators will be doing that all year long on Kobe's farewell tour, and for years to come.